Good morning. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. Sure hope you had a great and wonderful, safe Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, we had the severe weather. We had some heavy rain, but Memorial Day turned out to be a fantastic day. We ended up having a little bit of a wind, a little bit of breeze, but comfortable air and some sunshine. Actually, we made it to 82 degrees in Knoxville, so a nice solid average day there. Crossville, same with you. Same in Chattanooga and also in Tri-Cities. But look at the rainfall that we saw. That was from midnight through the early morning hours. Uh, McGee Tyson Airport picked up an inch and a half of rain, 55 hundredths of an inch in Tri-Cities, 37 uh, uh, over an inch, I should say, in Chattanooga and 85 hundredths in uh, the Crossville area. So we saw a lot of rain, and that was not just this weekend, but over the last seven days. So here's something to pass along to you. Uh, if you have an automatic sprinkler system, maybe shut that that down for a couple of days. We got a nice couple of dry days ahead of us. The ground does not need any more water, so conserve a little bit of energy, some water, and maybe save a few bucks as well. But look at the rainfall that we've seen over the last seven days. Incredible. So morning fog, afternoons, uh, we're going to see some fog this morning. That will become sunny skies, and then we'll see some fair weather cumulus clouds developing dur during the afternoon. Clear and pleasant overnight tonight. Very comfortable for the rest of the week as a trough hangs out with us. We'll talk about that in a moment. And then next weekend, scattered light rain showers as a weak little disturbance swings its way into the area. So when you look at the dew point, that's how the air feels, the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, and so the higher the dew point, the more uncomfortable it is, especially the warmer the temperatures are. Well, our dew points are going to continue to fall throughout the day today down into the 50s, and that's going to make those temperatures feel amazing as that northwesterly flow takes shape. You can see this with our future cast model. We do have a northwesterly flow taking shape, and because of that, we'll get a little bit of moisture at about four, five, six thousand feet in elevation, and so that's going to pop off some afternoon cumulus clouds. So we'll call it partly cloudy as we get into the afternoon, very similar to what we had yesterday afternoon. But Again, very comfortable weather uh, and dry conditions as well. So as we look ahead for the day today, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the mid-70s by lunchtime. That's going to be a nice lunch hour. Our goal today is going to be nice and average. We're going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s across the entire area. So a nice weather pattern this afternoon, and that's going to make for a very nice evening. So if we're back at it, we've got some outdoor activities here tonight, uh, ball practices. It's going to be very comfortable at the ball fields here tonight. By uh, 8 o'clock, we'll be in the 70s. Now those dew points will continue to stay right there. 50 or tonight. The lower the dew point, the lower our morning lows can go because dew points are coming on down. Morning lows are going to be out of the 60s for the most part, and we're going to be down to so that's going to make for a very comfortable start to our Wednesday. A little bit even more comfortable than what it is currently this morning. Three-day forecast, look at this. This trough is going to keep our temperatures in the 70s. Uh, today, tomorrow, Friday, as we're rounding out the week and the month, by the way, just absolutely picture perfect. And that's associated with this trough that's hanging out with us, okay? Uh, and so this us now. That's why temperatures going to be on the cooler side. We have the northwesterly flow. That's why dew points come on down. The trough will start to work its way off to the east. A ridge is going to start to build as we round out the week. That's going to eventually help to bring us a little bit warmer weather. But as the ridge builds, here comes our next system. So there's our ridge. Here comes our next little weather maker out to our west, and that's going to be swinging its way through this Friday. So more likely the case on Saturday, but not a lot of energy with that. And then a ridge builds again on into our Sunday. Maybe another disturbance on Monday, Tuesday time frame to bring us another chance for some scattered uh, light rain showers. But, but really in the grand scheme of things, we're not looking at a lot of rain. So we're rain free all the way through Friday. We're increase that a little bit as we get into our, say, say, Saturday, Sunday time frame. So there is a chance for some scattered light rain showers over the weekend. But when you look at the rainfall forecast by the Weather Prediction Center, this takes us through Thursday. This is our three-day forecast. No rain here locally. Take us to Saturday. Well, not really much here across East Tennessee in the southeastern U.S. And take us all the way through next Monday. And again, not a ton of rain. But you can definitely see how the rain is going to be building from the Great Plains to the Tennessee Valley. We just don't end up with a whole lot, I think, over the next seven days. Very solid temperature trend on the way. Average highs in the low 80s. We're going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s. So very average indeed. And then low temperatures as well. A little bit below average. And then that humidity will increase a little bit. Dew points climb as we Tuesday as we get a return flow from the Gulf of Mexico. So highlighting the weekend forecast is super important. I know we're just coming off of a holiday weekend and a Thursday. But this next weekend, a disturbance swings on in.
Temperatures will hover right there in the upper 70s to low 80s. So a solid weather pattern on the way. I know we're going to take a break from checking the weather all the time, but just keep an eye on the, on the, on the weekend forecast and check in every once in a while. I'm looking at any rainfall here this week, so the interactive radar will be nice and quiet. Uh, but you want to check in on those temperatures, any fog out there, and you can get that with your daily forecast updates right there from the East Tennessee Weather app.